found that unit seals are of two types. Unit cells. What are those? One is primitive or simple unit cells. And second one is non primitive. Generally, the word complex is not being used. Complex is not being used, so we are not going to use, but it is it is complex only. It is a complex unit. Uh, everywhere you find there we use the word non -proof. So I'm using non -proof. Unit. In non primitive unit cells, what you have? You have body center. Is center and you have and center. And after that, we know according to the shape, they are being classified into seven crystal types. Okay. But in our syllabus, only the syllabus only you will find cubic. Systems are included. Only cubic, cubic. So let me. So what are the thing you can have? We have already found that cubic system shows three types of brevis lattices. Hmm? It has three types of brevis. What are those? One is simple or primitive unit cell. Second, you have body center. Oh, yeah, right here. Body centered cubic unit cell. And third, you have face center. Write it. Sir. Sir. Yes. Sir, we cannot see properly here, the board. Is it? Yes, sir. It's not visible. Is it visible now? Not clearly, sir. Why it's not clearly? Because same one I'm using it, okay? Let me wipe the camera lens. Can you see now? Is it's it hard, sir. It's hard. No, sir. It's hard. This is the cubic crystal systems. Okay, so now we have to see that how many particles are present in a unit cell, in a unit cell. Okay, how many 
particles are present in one cubic unit cell. So let me go for now A. Simple or primitive UV unit cell. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So I'll try to draw. But you also will check with your textbook. Huh? Please see, you open your textbook and see the diagram. Because I told you. See here. This is the one. Okay, see. See, I have suppose I have taken this cell right from the middle. This side also cell is there. See, you have a cell this side also. This cell is this side also. Then you have a cell in front also. Okay, so I don't know how to draw the front cell, but still I try to draw. This is a cell in the front. Okay, you have a cell here also, here on the same plane. Okay, now see, you have cell below also. You have cell below also. So don't get confused. See this one. This is the part. This is the part. Okay. See, particle means it is a sphere. Mm -hmm. Then you have another particle here. Because solid there in this space. See here. What is happening? This is a sphere. So this lower sphere. This lower sphere is touching how many unit cells? The lower sphere is touching the front cell, which I could not draw it here. So it is being shared by four unit cells. Four. This is a lower cell. Suppose if I draw it like this. This is the upper part of the lower cell. See here. This is the one. They are all cells. Okay. See here, lower part. One, two, three, four. This is the upper one. See, if this is like this, and this is like this. So the lower sphere is common to four unit cells from the bottom. Similarly, the upper cell. See, these are all cell, cells. Cells Okay, huh? so these are these are these cells. See, now on the top also you have these four cells. So on the top also you have four cells. So lower hemis lower part of their hemisphere is common to four. Upper part of the hemisphere is also common to. Four. So if this is the atom, sorry, you can't see. Is this is the particle? Okay. Now see. Look. 
see here. This is the, this lower part is common to four of them, this lower part. And upper part, again, is common to four of them. So in each corner, see here, in each corner, this, okay, let me write here. Half of the sphere is bottom and half of the sphere is over. This half is being shared by four unit cells. And lower part, half is being shared by four unit cells. So in this case, see here, if this is the sphere, this is the sphere. So I, do, I told you this half of the sphere, half of the sphere is being shared by how many unit cells? Four. So ultimately, how much is there in each corner? How much is there? So if I draw the cell now again, This is the portion you'll find. Huh? This is the portion that you find is present in each corner. Okay. See, this part is being almost shared with this. Front part is being shared by this unit cell and this unit cell. That is, each corner. Mm -hmm of the cubic unit cell contains one eight, see here, one eight of a part, one eighth of a part. How to show you? Let me I'll show you, don't laugh, huh? What is this? Can you see? Alu. Ah, very good girl. <laughs> see. Okay, see here. See, this lower half, this lower half, okay, I'll show you. See here. This lower half is being shared by unit cells from the bottom. Upper half is being shared by how many unit cells? See here. This is one. Can you see one? This is two, this one is three and this one is four. So how much is inside? Is it not a unit cell? If I put one more here, is it not a unit cell? Hello? See, if I put one more, if I put one, one here and one here, see, is it not a unit cell? Hello, can you see? See? Yes, sir. Ah, so see in this case, how much is inside? Is it not one fourth of this half? See, 
this is this is one fourth this is one fourth this is one fourth this is one fourth because this upper half of the particle or sphere is being shared by how many unit cells one two three four so each unit cells the corner it contains how much half of the sorry one fourth of the half sorry one fourth of the half one fourth see is, is it not one fourth half i've already removed this half is going to the other unit cell see this unit cell is different on the top this unit cell is the bottom so this half is being shared by four unit cells and upper half is being shared by how many unit cells one two three four so only one fourth is present at each corner see here one fourth is present in each corner so each corner of the cubic unit cell contains how much? Half and fourth due to one eight. So one eight of the particle. All right. Okay, now. Board is become very dirty now. Yes, I made it brighter so that you can see. Okay, now see here. In simple or primitive UV unit cell, how does it look like? In this simple and cubic unit cell, particles are only present at the corners. In simple cubic unit cells, particles are present only at the Eight corners. In each corner, one eight of the particle is incorporated. Means it is within. So eight corners will have how much therefore the number of particles present in simple cubic unit cells if you how much eight corners are there into one eight of the particle that is one you may say sir at each corner eight atoms are there how it can be one you are perfectly correct but we want to see how much is present at each corner only one eight because each particle in a cubic unit cells are being shared by eight unit cells. Four from the top and four from the bottom. It is common to eight unit cells. Okay. So in this case, number of particle present is how much is within this unit cell? Only one if you go by their volume. Okay. Therefore, one. Right.
So now we'll go for second one. So in the diagram that you have drawn, not here, please write it like. This is the diagram of the simple or primitive cell. Please draw. You can draw better from your book. Once or twice, if you draw draw from your book, then you'll understand. Okay, now we'll go for body center. You be. Unit. See in body center, what you have? These all these particles, all these particles in the corner are being shared by eight unit cells. But the thing which is inside is hundred percent within the unit cell. It is not shared with anyone. Okay. So what we can write? <clears throat> so we'll write that the cubic unit cell always contains eight corners. So what we'll write now here? Number of particles present at the corners. Now we know 8 into 1, 8 is equal to 1. Then number of particles present at the center of cubic unit cells into what? One, 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 one only. Huh? So what I'll write now here. Therefore, therefore, number of particles present equal to what? One plus one is equal to two. Then, sir. Okay. Now we go for this. So again, I told you, no, you have to bear my bad drink. Yeah. 
theory of particles are present here. This is the first the simple form. See. Then at the middle of each phase, you will find particles. So top, bottom, left, right, back, and front. Okay. Now it is maybe a little difficult for you to understand. So I'll try to show you only one half. See, if this is the one piece, okay, you'll find this is the half that you see. This is one half is within, other half is outside. So I'll show you. I'll take the same potato map. See here. That is, say this is the face. This is the face. This is the face of the music set. This half, this half is within one unit cell, and this half is in present in another unit cell. Why? Because you know from each corner a unit cell starts. All right. So in that case, you'll find that one half is with, half is within and one half is the outside. That is in each phase you have half of the new particles. So we'll write now here. Number of particles present. Present at the corner that we know eight into one because by this only the unit cell forms. Then cubic unit cells has have six phases. Every cube have Six faces: top face, bottom face, left face, right face, front face, back face. Okay. Each face contains half of the particle. It is half is inside the unit cell and half is outside. That is, we can how many you can say now? Therefore. Number of particles present in six faces is equal to six into half. So if I add now, how much it comes? Two plus one. Therefore, Number of particles present in face center UV unit set equal to one. Plus the
Done, sir. So again, I'm telling you the number of particles present in each of the three types of cubic unit cells. Simple, you have only particles at the eight corners. Okay, your particles at the eight corners. And each corner contains how much? Each corner contains occupies half, sorry, one fourth of the half of the sphere, that is one eighth. Cubic unit cells, irrespective of their nature, all of them have eight corners. For simple primitive unit cell, only the particles are present in the corner. So number of particles present is eight into one eight is equal to one corner. Then when you come to the body center, we find one particle is deep inside the body, which is not being shared with any other unit cell. So the number of particles present is eight into one eight plus one. That is one plus one is equal to then when you go for face centered cubic uh, unit cell, we know that cube, a cube has six faces and each face incorporates half of the unit cell within. Six faces means six into half equal to three. Eight corners contain one particle, so three plus one equal to four. Now, we have to calculate that how much of occupied space is there inside a unit cell? Okay, I this excuse me. I just want to um, wipe it. Now we'll go for calculation of percentage of occupied or Taking okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Hmm. First, we try to understand in plain, simple language where some no science is there. Say, say, you have taken one a square box. Okay, and you have filled with water. You have filled it with water. So, is there any vacant space in, in, inside? If you fill it till to, till to the brim, huh? If you you have taken a cubic container and you have filled it with water, will there be? Will it contain any free space? Vacant space will be there. No, sir. Now, same container to that I have added atta. Atta is amorphous, but they are particles. 
we will not be may not be able to see it with the naked eye but if you look at the magnifying glass we'll find between the particles of water some empty spaces there because of that when you want to try to put your hand inside somehow you can put if i now pack it with the muri what will happen or suppose i have packed with some marble will there be some empty space yes sir yes that is the thing that we are going to do we want to find that how much amount of occupied space is there or indirectly you can say how much amount of vacant space is there so now what is packing efficiency packing efficiency packing efficiency okay so what will right now here volume occupied by by the particles divided by total volume of the units into what hundred into hundred now we have to calculate excuse me huh? please give me one minute time sorry uh grace your father came to meet me okay now see here volume volume occupied by the particles divided by total volume of the unit cell into 100 now let me go for simple or primitive cubic units and again i back to be excused for my bad drawing
जी जी लो दिस इज वन पार्टिकल एंड दिस इज एन साइज सर नोट मैचिंग हा दिस इज वन दिस इज दिस इज द वन इज टचिंग द आधार ओके से इन दिस केस द एज लेंथ it is length of the side it is a we always consider to be a and actually this is not the radius but if you see half of this particle oh i can explain then you just come you can see from the book ha huh? see here from here to here these are radius see here. so and this radius of the particle is r here can i not say a is equal to 2r see r plus r okay we have already considered this particle to be spherical so what is the volume of a sphere volume of a sphere is equal to what yes is it not 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r now what see it is a cube so this side is a this from here to here it is a from here to here it is a and from here to here it is a so what is the volume of the volume of the uh, unit cell volume of the unit cell is a cube this one can i not write see therefore r is equal to or i can say here yeah. r is equal to a by 2 so can i not write this one 4 by 3 is to r what i can write a by 2 okay so let me find this percentage uh, sorry packing efficiency of this one so packing efficiency is equal to will do what the volume occupied by the particles is okay what is the number of particles sorry here yeah. number of the particle See, simple and primitive units, uh, primitive cube unit cells contain how many particles? One. So, the volume of one particle is this much. So I put it there now. Four by three pi a by two cube divided by a cube. Into hundred. Okay. So what I can write now here? Four pi a cube three a cube into what? Eight into hundred. So ultimately, you will find how much? It is fifty two point. D three. That is almost half of the half of the space within that unit cell is empty. So you cannot see the lower part. Okay, you write. 
Can you see now? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Okay. See, in your exam, they may not give you picking efficiency. You might, you all, some, it may happen that you have already by hearted. Okay. So what they will give? The packing efficiency means this much, um, this much space is occupied. In a crystal, the unoccupied spaces are called void. That is, percentage of, of vacant space. Or known as void. Okay. So what will happen if it, this much is occupied, rest are unoccupied? Then what should I write here? Hundred minus fifty-two point three three. So how much it will come? See here, seven six. Then from nine it will go to seven. So this is the percentage of vacant space of void. They will always try to confuse you. See, science is not a subject to by heart. It is a subject to understand. Class 11, you have tried to by heart. So you have already massacred 50% of your syllabus. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we'll go for face centered cubic unit cells. See, in short form, we write this as FCC. All right. See. We have found when you have taken 
simple and primitive unit cells. In this case, you'll find the particles which are there at the corner are not now touching each other. Earlier, we have written A is equal to 2R. Now I cannot write. See, this is the R, this is the R. And from here to here is A. So I cannot write now here. A is equal to 2R. So I muskil ho gaya. No problem. You have already done this thing, this thing in your school. I'll write here A, B, C. Remember Pythagoras theorem. In Pythagoras theorem, what did it say? A B square, that is the square of the sides, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Am I wrong? Pythagoras theorem? Huh? Square of the two sides of a, what do you call this triangle? Right angle triangle, na? is equal to the square of the third side. See here. So from there, what I learned, I have written AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Okay. Now from here to here is what? Is it not edge length? A. But this one you do not know. But we know that this is from here to here is R. This is the diameter of the particle. So I can write here R and R. Diameter of a sphere is equal to two into radius. And this is R. So what I'll write now here? A B square is what? A square. B C square is equal to what? A square. A C square is equal to what? Four R. A square by four. Therefore, eight, not six. Is eight. I'm also full. Therefore, R is equal to root over A square by A. Equal to A by two. So now we know. Now, what is the number of particles present in FCC? Number of particles present in FCC unit cells is equal to four. So total volume occupied is equal to equal to what? Volume of one, one particle into four. So what we can write now here? Packing efficiency. Will be equal to what? Four into four by three pi r cube by a cube 
into 100. So again, you can write here. Okay. So I'll write now here. I'll substitute by this value. So you will be four into four into five into a is equal to what? R is equal to what? A by two root two whole cube divided by a cube into hundred. Okay. This comes to 74.01 percent. Done, sir. Now, please do by yourself, right? Percentage of vacant space or void, subtract it from this, write down. Just like earlier you have done, write down. Percentage of vacant space or void. Okay, now we'll go for this is a bit complicated, huh? Because I think here. I will not be making Sir, I can't see the topic nicely. It's too high. In body center cubing cell, one particle is in the middle. It is deep inside. In face center, what did you find? All of them are in the faces. But in body center, one is inside. In that case, you'll find one particle from the front corner 
is touching the other particle from the back part. Yeah. If this is inside, you can find one particle will be touching from the front corner, other will be touching from the back. You can see from your book, visualize from your book. Okay. So here, in this case, you'll find R is equal to C A root C root C by four. So right now here, number of particles in DCC unit cells is equal to two. No, we know we we know why it is two because one eighth of the each particle at the corner. Eight corners, eight into one, eight is equal to one. One is deep inside, not shared with any other crystals. So one plus one is two. So in that case, what you can write now? What is the total volume? Two into four by three. This is the volume of each sphere divided by a cube into hundred. So what I can write now here? Two into four into pi. R is equal to what? root c by four into a whole thing cube divided by a cube into hundred. That comes to sixty eight percent. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll calculate the percentage of void. Calculate the void. Done, sir. Okay. So let me write a summary. Huh? Summaries are important for numerical. Okay, what 
what is this? For what crystal system we have taken? Cubic crystal system. Cubic unit. How many brevis let us say? What are those? Simple BCC axis. Okay. Number of particles. Always, whenever, whenever you read anything, you make a small copy. Buy by 10 rupees. Okay. Suppose you have read two or three chapters. Write a summary. Okay. Summary will be around five, six lines. You do it for your chapter. You will not forget a single thing. After two, three days, just see the summary. Everything you can remember. Number of particles, simple one, BCC, FCC, clear? Okay, then I'll write down here. Relation, between radius and age length of unit cells. See here. Simple. Simple what? R is equal to a by BCC R is equal to root C by 4A. FCC R is equal to A 2 root. This if you see it for, if you write down in a small copy, and if you see it for two, three days, you will not forget for your entire class 12. Why? These are essential for your entrance exam. And also, one mark question in your school. Oh, so this is the one. Hmm. Because you may be given a numerical, they will give you the age length and ask you to find the radius of the particle. So if you know, immediately you can know. Age, this will be given to you. But do, you will get it. Okay, now. Picking efficiency. I'll write whole number. 52, simple was 52.33, forget. 52%. Okay? Then, BCC, 68%. Then, FCC, 74%. That is, what will be your conclusion? FCC is the closest, closest, closest pecking cubic in itself because its empty space is less. So I'll write down pecking, pecking MBC. And here I'll write void. Okay. So void, what is what is the in the void? Simple is how much? 48% empty space. BCC, how much? Hmm? 32%. And FCC, how much? It is 26%. What is your conclusion? FCC has the
closest. So this is your summary. Okay. So again, I'm telling that talk to this much. Huh? These are essential for your numeric. Then buy for today. And if you don't understand anything, ask me in Thursday. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.